Hey guys, Panzer J back here in Operation 20 Core. Unfortunately, we're here at turn 18. I was hoping the uh, game was going to end uh, last turn. That would have been an Axis victory, but we're continuing to turn 18. So it's 18.1 for Germany. It's January of 45. Probably don't have much more than this turn left um, to, to secure an Axis victory. The Allies are, are charging pretty hard, um, and Japan is getting squeezed big time. So if the game doesn't end on this turn, probably isn't going to be an Axis victory. Um, a bunch of stuff I could possibly do in Russia with my two big German army groups, but uh, we're just going to sit tight for the most part. I, I, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to go back into Russia and take a bunch of stuff, but eh, it's really no point at this point. The only the only victory point I can get in Russia is Lebensraum, and I'm not going to get three cities. And Rich has got his hands full. Um, you know, he's dealing with the Allies, so that that's kind of good for 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 the Axis. Um, no point in giving Rich more trouble, and um, that's not going to really lead to anything substantial for the Axis. So. We're going to take a couple territories off them to increase our income, but not much else. Okay, so let's get into the German turn. Um, we'll do tech rolls first. I don't think it's going to affect my buy, but we can finish off some tech. So let's just do tech rolls first here. Um, artillery, stage 3, 7 or higher. Radar, stage 3, 7 or higher. Improved construction, stage 3, 7 or higher. And logistics, not on the board, 8 or higher. Uh, so artillery... A nine. Oh my god, we finally finished it. Uh, radar. Four we miss. Construction. Five we miss. And logistics. Eleven, so two out of four. So we do finish artillery, but... Uh, I mean, we could put some advanced artillery on the board, I guess. Okay, so let's throw logistics on there. Uh... uh I don't think we're going to change anything. I don't think it really matters. We're just going to stick with what we got. Okay, so we have uh, 62 to spend. We're going to spend all of it. We got our free fort for the Atlantic Wall. We got our free infantry for Berlin. We're going to spend 24 on two jets. Four infantry, four infantry for 12 is 36. Two more infantry for 6 is 42. An elite airborne for 3 is 45. A fighter for 10 is 55. And infantry for three is 58, and two militia for four is 62. Okay, so for combat, we're going to go ahead and bomb the railroad here, Sudan to Nubia, with our German bomber from um, Cyrenaic. That's going to come down one and bomb there. I think it's only one damage again, but there's no fighters or AA guns, so it should be good. We'll go ahead and send our three jets and our five fighters as escort not that there's anything that can intercept but just to be on the safe side we'll send those eight planes all from Cyrenaica down one as well so that's combat one um, number two we're going to attempt to con or uh, raid the uh, British here our seaplane in Aquitaine is going to come out one two um, and everything else is on the eastern front so our light armor here in uh, Lebelski is going to come up one into southern Belarusia, which is empty. So, and then it's going to blitz here into northern Belarusia. So we'll have a light armor versus a militia. So you can win that um, phenomenal battle there. Um, so that's two more battles. And the last one is here in uh, western Ukraine. So Rich has got a militia and two infantry. We're going to take our tactical bomber from Berlin with a movement of six. It's going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to take our fighter from West Germany with a movement of six. One, two, three, four. So they each got two left. We're going to take the motorized and the artillery from Central Romania up one, two. Right? And yeah, one, two. And we're going to take one of our infantry from the card here in, is that East Poland or West Poland? East Poland. So one infantry from that card. Okay. And that's it. Those are our five combats. Okay, so 
Uh, we successfully bombed the railroad there in Nubia and Sudan. So that's two railroads, uh, two sections of the railroad bombed there in Africa. Okay, we got our convoy raiding with our seaplane. So let's do black is Germany, uh, red is the United Kingdom. Six to five, but I think they have better modifiers, so that's probably nothing. And then everything else is here on the Eastern Front. Okay, so uh, the first battle was a walk-on here in southern Belarusia, and then we blitzed up into northern Belarusia. Not worth anything, but let's kill off some militia if we can. Okay, so I have a light armor at a three. A nine misses. The militia at a two. Twelve misses. My light armor to three. A two we hit, and the militia to two, a one. Ah, mutual destruction, so we don't take it, but it wasn't worth anything. Okay, and the last battle is here in um, western Ukraine. So I have a tactical, a fighter, one first strike artillery, an infantry, and a motorized against two infantry and a militia. Okay, so our first strike artillery at a three, a ten misses. And then we've got our tactical at a seven, a nine misses. Our fighter at a six, a two does hit. And then we've got a motorized at a two, a 12 misses. And then we got a boosted infantry at a three, a one does hit. So we get two hits. His militia at a two, 12 misses. And then he's got two infantry at fours. 10 and 12, so two misses. So Rich is down to a single uh, infantry. Okay, we got a tactical bomber at a seven. A one does hit. How about our fighter at a six? That misses. We got an artillery and a boosted infantry at three. They miss. And we got a motorized at a two. Everything misses, but I did get the one hit. So let's roll his remaining infantry at a four. 12 misses. So we kill off Western Ukraine. Okay, so we take Western Ukraine with an infantry, a motorized, and an artillery. Okay, so that's $2 we went up. So we go from 54 to 56. Rich goes down to 49. Okay, so how about non-combat? Okay, so let's fly some planes back. So this tactical and this fighter that attacked Western Ukraine went four each. They're going to go five, six, and land in central Romania. Okay. How about rail moves? We got four. One of them is going to be this elite paratrooper in central Romania. is going to rail all the way to Rome. And then we got three rail moves left. How did we want to do this? Um, well, let's see. First, we're going to take the two infantry in Warsaw. One is going to come up to East Poland. So that puts us back up to 11 infantry there. And then our whole force here in Palachka is going to come down one to Lebelski. So that consists of... Uh, 14 infantry, 3 SS Panzer Grenadiers, or no, 2 SS Panzer Grenadiers, 2 medium armor, 2 Tigers, 4 advanced mechs. So the remaining infantry in Warsaw is going to move up 1 to Lebelski. So that gives us 15 infantry there. Uh, one of the infantry in central Romania is going to move up to East Poland. That gives us 12 infantry there. And then the other three rail moves are all going to be infantry. So we're going to take the infantry from Berlin. And how about two infantry from West Germany? And they're going to rail to East Poland. So that'll give us 15 infantry there as well. And those are our four rail moves. Okay. Now let's see what else do we got. Um, we've got the Amoeba P-51 
Pizza Amiga strategy again. So the two remaining uh, infantry in West Germany go to Belgium, two in Belgium go to Picardy, two in Picardy go to Normandy. So add two more infantry to Normandy. Um, our plane from Aquitaine, the seaplane just flies back to Aquitaine. Um, we've got a fighter in Paris that's going to go, uh, with a movement of six, is going to go one, two, three, four, five, land in Cyrenaica. The fighter in northern Italy at an air base, one, two, three, four, is going to fly to Cyrenaica. The medium bomber. On the return, goes back to Cyrenaica. Um, we've got a jet in Paris that's going to fly one, two, three to northern Italy. We've got two jets in West Germany. They're going to fly one, two, three to Paris. Put them on the card. Um, that might be about it. We're going to have one of the infantry in Bavaria move up one to Alsace-Lorraine. I think that's it. We don't have any ships left. Oh, we got our two infantry in Paris, but... Uh, hmm. We'll move one of the infantry in Paris up to Normandy. I think that's it. We don't have... Pathetically, we have no ships left. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so how about unit placement? How about our free stuff? We got an infantry and a fort. So the fort will go down here in A22 and finish off uh, the fortification in Normandy. The infantry goes in Berlin. Uh, two jets, West Germany. Uh, four infantry, West Germany. got two infantry for Paris. Uh, we've got a militia and elite paratrooper for Central Romania. And we got a fighter, an infantry, and a militia left. So... Um, the infantry will go in Warsaw. The militia will put in... Where do we want to put the militia? Uh, the fighter will go in West Germany as well. And the last militia... that really needs it, but we're going to put it in Berlin. Uh, we don't want any sh any shenanigans going on late in the game here. Okay, so that should be it. So how about money? We spent everything. We're sitting at 56. We collect three for Romania and three for Sweden, so that's 62. Okay, how about a unit recap? So in the east, okay, so in Army Group North here in Lebelski, we have... 15 infantry, two SS Panzer Grenadiers, two medium armor, two Tigers, four advanced mechs. Army Group South in East Poland is 15 infantry, 13 advanced mechs, three medium armor. Uh, Helsinki's a militia, Konisberg's a militia, 
Warsaw as an infantry and a militia. Uh, what is that? East U or Western Ukraine is an infantry, a motorized, and an artillery. Bessarabia is a militia. Bulgaria is a militia. Yugoslavia is a militia. Central Romania is a tactical bomber, a fighter, an air transport. Oh, I forgot one more non-combat non move, but I'll get to it in a second. Uh, Central Romania is a tactical bomber, a fighter, an air transport, a militia, an elite airborne, and is it five? Four infantry. Uh, East Germany is an infantry. Berlin's two militia and an infantry. Denmark's four Italian infantry, a marine, and a militia. Uh, West Germany's two jets, a fighter, and four infantry. There's an infantry in Bavaria, an infantry in Alsace-Lorraine. There's a militia, three infantry each in the Netherlands and Belgium. Picardy, two infantry, one militia, uh, one light armor, two medium armor, three SS Panzer Grenadiers, and five advanced mechs. Paris, three jets, three infantry. Um, Aquitaine, Italian and German seaplanes, an AA gun, a militia, eight infantry. Normandy, a militia, an AA gun, an SS Panzer Grenadier, two advanced mechs, and six infantry. Uh, Northern Italy for Germany has a jet, a medium armor, two SS Panzer Grenadiers. Rome for Germany is two motorized infantry, two regular infantry, two elite airborne, three self-propelled artillery, and then that was where the other non-combat was. The heavy air transport from Cyrenaica is going to go one, two, three, four, land in Rome. So I'll add a uh, heavy air transport to Rome. And then Cyrenaica for Germany is an infantry, a medium bomber, three jets, and seven fighters. So that should be it for Germany here on turn 18.1. Turning things over now to Rich and the USSR CCP.